What is primate ecology? Primate ecology is the study of the interaction between a primate and their environment. This includes what they eat, as most primates are herbivores. But there are some primates that may be considered omnivores. Primates who demonstrate that they eat mainly leaves are called folivores. Such examples of folivores are the howler monkey and the gorilla. Frugivores are primates who mainly eat fruit. Examples are the ring-tailed lemur, the spider monkey, the red-tailed monkey, and the gibbon. Then there are the insectivores, which mainly eat insects. These include the tarsier and the squirrel monkey. Gummivores eat mainly tree sap. Some examples are th of these are the bush baby and the marmoset. Similar to how humans may call it making a living, how a primate decides to spend its time is called an activity budget. This activity budget mainly consists of foraging, feeding, resting, sleeping, locomotion, traveling, and of course, they have to be social with one another. There are those unique primates who are crepuscular, who seem to be active during dawn and dusk. An example of crepuscular primates is the ring-tailed lemur. They have this type of activity pattern. Casimiral primates are active during irregular periods during day and night. Black lemurs are one of the few primates who show this activity pattern. Some are even nocturnal, which means they're active during the night. But most primates are active during the day. This is called diurnal. Since food is one of the main factors in how a primate makes its living, there's oftentimes a feeding competition where others compete for food. There are also two other types of competitions. It depends on how much of the food is available in its own environment and the quality and quantity of the food. A scramble competition is when there happens to be a lot of low quality food However, this is most common with leaf-eating primates because trees tend to have larger quantities of edible leaves, though some are of low quality. This can also be referred to an indirect competition in which whoever finds the food faster or eats faster gets more food than those who don't eat as fast. While in a contest competition, what happens is when there is usually a small amount of high quality foods, then this is mainly more common for fruit eating primates because a tree that has fruit in it is limited, uh, is, has a limited amount of high quality fruit. It's a direct competition. Usually direct competitions are where certain individuals of stronger or higher social statuses get more food than those who are fighting for it, aka they have a lower social status. How a primate demonstrates its ability to deal with these feeding competitions are actually behavioral strategies within their own group. For example, let's say a group with a high scramble competition will tend to spread out more and so they have easier access or have more resources than within a high contest competition. Some individuals may want to, let's say, work together or even you can use the word gang up on other primates to take their food. A primate's behavior can be linked to their environment. So when a primate is captive, it's usually easier to control in these situations. For example, the number of individuals in a group of food is available and they are easier to observe at close range. However, supposedly it's artificial, so 
the primates may not exhibit their usual behaviors. There's also semi-captive, and usually these animals are on an island, but it has a fence. So, variables are still relatively easy to control, and the primates are easier to observe than compared to the wild. They tend to, the primates tend to exhibit and demonstrate their natural behavioral patterns in this type of setting than if they were completely captive. Then there's also free ranging. Usually these primates are living in the wild in their natural environment and the observers study them, however, do not interact with them. So they can perform their usual natural and normal behaviors.